Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a new method of bypassing the need for a Microsoft account or online connectivity when setting up your Windows 11 Home or Pro Edition software. Now, this is actually a pretty easy thing to do. I'm pretty much guaranteed that this is going to be eradicated after a few Windows updates, so this video may last a long time, it may last a very short time, but regardless, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so we've started the Windows 11 professional installation here, and we've come to the very first splash screen that says here, is this the right country or region? Now it's defaulting to United Kingdom, because we're in the United Kingdom, and normally you'd go through the uh, whole usual process. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna press our Shift key, and also F10, to bring up the command line, or the command interface. And all we need to do is type in a very, very simple thing. You can possibly even memorize this. You will need to click on the window to make it active. You'll see there's a cursor there. So what you want to type in is start, then a space, then MS, then the minus sign, then CXH, then the colons, and then type in local only. Pretty straightforward, simple stuff to do. When you're ready, press enter. And it's gonna say, create a user account for this PC. So we basically bypassed using a Microsoft account. Now, of course, if you want to, at a later point, you can add a Microsoft account to your PC, but this is for the initial setup, which some people may have issues with because of not having internet connectivity and all that kind of stuff. So we'll say who's gonna use this PC and we'll just call myself Mike because, well, that's my name. I'm not gonna put a password because this is gonna be erased very shortly anyway. This is just for demonstration purposes. If you wish to put a password in, put one in. The choice is entirely up to you. When you're happy, click on next. So now we've basically bypassed pretty much all of the setup configuration that you get with Windows 10 or Windows 11 Professional or Home Editions. And there we go. So now we get to kind of the finalizing bit. With these, you can choose whichever settings you wish. I'm gonna choose no and do the least possible. Again, you can put in exactly whatever you like. That choice is yours. And essentially, when it's done, you'll get this. Now at the moment, as you can see, it's gone straight into Windows. We're not connected to the internet at all, so we don't have a Microsoft account. And at this point, if you want to, you can do things like removing things like OneDrive and all that kind of usual stuff. That choice is entirely up to you. So there you go, very easy, very straightforward, and uh, does actually improve the time needed to install Windows, so that is definitely a bonus. And don't forget, if you're trying this and for some reason it's not working, if you've got a keyboard which doesn't have the full layout, so maybe you're using a 75 or 60% keyboard, potentially when you do the Shift F10, you may have to press the function key as well to get your F10 wherever it may be on your keyboard. So obviously do refer to the documentation for your particular keyboards if you're struggling with that area. And of course, if you can't type in anywhere, make sure you click on the command box just so that the cursor is inside it so it is the highlighted window. So there you go, hopefully this video is gonna help you bypass your Microsoft account requirements and also the network connectivity requirements. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content of like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.